Well, hello, my fellow gamers. Zap back here, and welcome to another video of RuneScape 3 Iron Man Outside Count. For this one, is going to be our final one of Marty and Smith thing. So, I want to talk about this skill up next, which is actually crafting. Crafting is actually a pretty good skill to work on, it's actually explainable how it feels like in do so. Crafting allows me, allows me to unlock certain items based on skilling, which is actually those urns. And I can level up smithing, mining, and divination at level 80. Just to unlock invention. But here's the thing, and I actually switch up invention to some, to somewhere else and try to get target with the other combat levels range and melee and decide to put archaeology gee uh after we done with magic and wound crafting. Yeah. Anyway, enough about that. And I'm just going to do some of this. So why so while I'm actually doing this, like I want to make adamant play bodies. Like I got my smith level level to level 42. So I unlock admin smithing. And then this is almost level 50 in mining. So we can actually mine Runite. And for the best it could be good. I hope the best to be done with it on um, with these two skills, like maybe 50 something and 50 smithing. Basically my way of the three main skills, divination, smithing, and crafting, it'd be 80 divination, 50 smithing, and 70 crafting. Crafting those three skills are good enough, and it's actually close enough to you get work on invention and it's, and for the best to unlock it once we get to it. Yeah, and that's why I know after crafting it be magic and room crafting, and then archaeology. I just switch up invention and archaeology. I know. All right. Anyway, wait. I want to talk about next month in March and this month too, February. So February is actually a interesting month in DC. So I want to finish the two women's alliance first up. We're almost. I'm almost done with it. I believe like February 18th, I'll be done with it. And then I am for the best to make more videos of Iron Man for that, when they so. I want to finish crafting this month and then hit uh, magic and wound crafting uh, next month. I want to hit for each month. I want to do three skills or four skills for for the time being, maybe two. There's a lot, as you know, oh, on the first videos of Osa of the Osa count the rules. I put a list of what skills I want to do. I want to do in order. Me, since I changed. Invention to archaeology and put invention into the range and melee skills because since those actually are shareable and early on to level up in the way, so yeah, that works actually. And then magic is gonna be something original. Well, I may do wound crafting uh, in a different way. 
way I can do wound crafting by the abyss or I can do wound span and wound span will be like collecting points to buy the wound crafting outfit and then that's it that's actually it maybe the wands and I not I don't think we, we, we will actually hit low 90 wound crafting to get the master pouch. So yeah, um, I think that's actually how it works. So I think Agalogy has a certain artifact, mainly two, that can see protect your pouches for wound crafting and Send you to the middle of the abyss instead of getting attacked by the minions. The abyss. Well, because of the abyss, actually, once you enter it, your player status actually drain down to zero and you can't not allow to use them. So that's actually a messed up thing. So, how it works. Yeah. And I just want to. Hope for the best is actually pretty good and reasonable to love to love up. Yeah. How that how's gonna work, Andy? So anyway. Hey, that's how it's going actually Andy. so magic is gonna be something original. Now here's the thing I could do about magic and wound crafting. So I may do wound span just to collect points so I can buy the wound crafting outfit. And then for magic, I gotta buy some wounds. Um or something. Mainly probably like, like the first episode of magic is gonna be the two quests. Sis, and then we're gonna do And then that allows us to enter the abyss. And then that and then I guess the chance to start working on wound crafting. Having wound crafting is actually a lot harder. But we need a high level of magic so we can su survive the minions of the abyss. We get a small pouch, which is actually a zero percent of the ability. And I believe you get more of it um, based on your wound crafting level and your combat level too, because you got to slay these minions uh, into the abyss to get the rest of the pouches and the uh, talisman too. So you can actually upgrade your record, record hood too. Yeah. Uh, I don't know well, what else to put it into, but that's actually the thing. Um, let's say magic is gonna be actually kind of hard. Yeah, well, and that's actually the thing. So, by the time I'm done with the first video of, of magic for the two with the two quests, we gotta do some combat. It's gonna be. Magic, defense, and constitution. And I think I'm gonna stop at level 50 defense and whatever level of constitution so I can so I can actually survive the abyss with my magic level high enough and then I can do I can do some wound crapping. Yeah. So pretty much that's how I go work and something and it's gonna be like and as you know, each month I'm gonna hold the best to hit three skills or more than three skills each month. Cause I'm I'm working on three videos per week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hey, and I'd be like So here's the thing, let's talk about like, like magic. Be magic one on Monday, magic two on the Wednesday. Magic 3 on Friday, and then 4 and 5 will be next week on Monday and Wednesday. And then you work, and then we'll work on 
wound clapping up next, and finally, uh, archaeology. G. Uh, yeah, and I think my strategy is actually pretty good because now I have to figure out what I want to do with with my money wise. Now I'm at sixty four k, but I believe once I get these three skills to low eighty, divination, smithing, and crafting, I'll probably have over a hundred k of GP. So um, yeah. Anyway, a enough rambling, and I'm just going to um, work on this skill to level forty-five. Where am I now? Forty-three right now. So yeah, forty-five. But I'm gonna do this at a time less for smithing, and and then we'll talk about. The next skill of of OSA account, which is actually crafting. So enjoy the time last that's of me smithing up to level forty five.
Alright. That's actually it for all that time pass of game 45 Smithy. I actually hope it's best you actually enjoy that. I have opened up all the GLs 176 off camera and I achieved 82 spirit shards. You get spirit shards from these GLs and a lot of gems. There's 11 sapphires, 35 opal, 22 jade, 5 emerald, 1 ruby, 18 red trapezoid, and 2 diamonds. It's pretty much that how it works. And that's all pretty cool. But in detail, that's actually enough to work on the next skill, which is actually crafting. And, and that's how it works, I gotta say. So, that's it for mining smithing. Our next skill is actually crafting. And, and let me get enough for me about it. So I'm gonna leave you here. Thank you so much for watching. So don't forget, forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If join Team Raven, do find me in all social media accounts. And I'll see you next time. Bye.